<laughs> we good? So what distinctive taste should we be expecting? Because I mean, I'm going to be honest, I'm coming in with an open mind, but I don't know what to expect. Honestly, yeah. no idea. Maybe we will um, get this lot of um, cup and spices, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So very spicy. Not spicy. I don't, I don't Season. Know. Well Look, seasoned. Well seasoned. Okay. okay. Yeah. We can deal with that, right? Yeah. That works. I, I'm, you know me. I'll, I'll try it. Let's do it. Let's get started, huh? I can. You mentioned that it was a lot of herbs and spices. Mm -hmm. And when we hear that, we know that it's probably going to be well seasoned. Yeah. What's the What's the cultural significance behind so many herbs and spices? Like, what's the most popular herb? Well, what, yeah. What are the popular flavors? Um, those, um, Back, um, back um, so many years ago, uh, Malaysia used to be like uh, trade places. Mm -hmm. So there we like um, um, traders from all over the world, and, mm -hmm. and then the the port that they will, they will stop by there. So um, they will exchange uh, spices, and uh, and then some some of them uh, live the um, uh, what um, maybe their uh, lifestyle people. People see the food, and then and plus um, Malaysia is also like we um so many citizens living uh in our country. Mm -hmm. uh, we have so many ethnic, and and all of them uh, bring their own own culture, and we mix together. Mm -hmm. Ah, so Malaysian food is like a melting pot of different cultures. Yeah, we can say it's that. Kind yeah. of like a mix of everything. Ah. Jason, we want to say thank you all for watching once again. Um, we want to say subscribe if you like our videos, subscribe if you don't like our videos, and check out my blog at Fat Girls Food Guide. So, did you have a good time today, Jason? Yes, I had a great time. Me too. Okay. <laughs>